What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and today we're playing as Little C and uh, unfortunately my car has to go in for a service so I'm leaving it here at Simeon's and we're going to take a nice walk back home but I forgot that my marksman rifle is in the trunk so uh, we've got to carry that home with us and it looks suspiciously like an assault rifle so uh, I'm going to leave the keys here with Simeon and we're going to take a walk back home and hopefully the police might have something to say about this so let's have a look Really, dude? Well, I suppose I did cross with a red man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just casually walking down the street with my... Uh... So, marksman rifle really looks like an assault rifle, so maybe the cops will fuck with us. Because assault rifles are very much illegal. This tow truck might say something. Maybe not. Yeah, it's raining, so I'm just casually walking home with my, my uh, marksman rifle. I like the cut, the uh, colour on that tow truck. Lovely purple. It's probably in the store changing. Yeah, I'm down in the city today. Good old city. Because that's where all the cops are. And another tow truck over there. Yeah, I live in Grove Street. I'm playing as Charlie Manson today. I live in Grove Street. And uh, we're going to take a walk down there. Try and see if we can get home without getting fucked with. <laughs> this should be interesting. I haven't seen any cops so far, but I can hear them. I don't want to start pointing... Oh. don't want to start pointing this thing just in case they... Uh, shoot me. <laughs> yeah, just casually walking down Strawberry with a marksman rifle. That's a sweet car over there. I want to go have a look at that. Yep, good to cross. Just casually. Oh, god damn it, traffic, go away. Just casually running down here with an, uh, a marksman rifle. I'll be honest, if I was in that car, I'd be shitting myself right now. Guy running at me with a gun. Nope, it's your park there. That's gotta be a safe car. That's gotta be. Takes photos, sweet ass car parked on the street. As you do. Right, back down towards Grove Street. <laughs> that dude looked like you panicked then. Where's the meet? Yeah, there's a car meet at 611. That's over on the pier. Thinking I might buy something from the shop. <laughs> I 
That dude is tripped out. He's tripping. I'm just gonna have a donut. Yeah, I think in a donut. Picks a donut. <laughs> Dog nut. <laughs> Close enough. Pays for dognut. Yeah, since I can't spell donut, I might as well be consistent. Yeah, that dude's definitely wary of me. <laughs> yep, this went pretty much as I expected. going to approach me? They're probably going to get more units here. <laughs> Surprisingly casual, considering. Sir! Hey, did you call me? Yeah, uh, I'm going to need you to put that weapon on your back or something, or drop it on the ground, whatever you prefer. Uh, I'll sling it over my shoulder. Is there okay, a uh, problem here, bro? Uh, yeah, we got calls of somebody openly brandishing a weapon in that LTD over there. Oh, I was just uh, buying a donut, bro. It might be a robber. Nah, I was just okay. buying a donut, bro. <laughs> so, any reason... For the uh, for the Markerson rifle? Yeah, I was just bringing it home, man. I live on this street, innit, with my with my brothers. And uh, I was bringing it down from my car, which I left up here, yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, it's registered to you? Yeah, you it's mine, man. License? Yeah, man. Okay. What's your first and last name? My name's Little C. Well, they call me Little C, yeah. It's Charlie Manstains. Charlie man stains. All right, stay with this officer real quick. I'm gonna run your information. Okay, bro. St uh, skull thrower, where'd you get the rifle from? Uh, he was in my car, innit, bro? But I gotta leave it up there for service, yeah? So I had to carry it with me because I don't want him nicking it, yeah? Okay, so, oh, you so see you dropped your car off over there at the uh, that repair shop that's just across the street from the LTD? Nice, nah, the one up uh, Simeon's, yeah? He, um, good guy, he does it cheap. I like your rifle, though. Wanna swap? <laughs> okay, I, honestly, uh, no. <laughs> um, it's more of a police-issued rifle, so it's, it, it would really get you in more trouble. Trust me. Oh, don't worry about that, bro. I got a wicked scope, yeah? 20 times zoom. I'd be able to see how your friend did tied his shoelaces from the next block. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you could. But walking around with the, just in your hands like that, man, is uh, not okay. Yeah, it was just easier than putting it over my shoulder, because it was, like, hurting my back, and I didn't uh, want to get it wet. The rifle is registered to him, so... Maybe. Yeah, I got my pistol as well. It's in my waist over on the right side, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just leave it there. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys, really. I don't, I don't see any problem with it, as long as he wasn't actively trying to rob the place. Oh, I it wouldn't do that, bro. There, right? <laughs> I mean, he said what he dropped say? his car off at the repair shop, and he said he's walking home, so I mean... I don't yeah, really he's pretty see much. Any. Yeah, he's he's free to open carry like that, especially when he's. Hold on <laughs> one second. God love America, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I honestly think he'll be all right, um, unless you have something else you want to chime in on. Five one seven. I thought he was gonna ask me that. Not necessarily. Um, I just. Basically got on scene. I assume you uh, checked the 2729 and everything. 
Yeah, I believe no uh, 646 went ahead and ran his <laughs> name. Um, I stood here and talked to him for a little bit. He said he dropped his car off at the repair shop to get it fixed, and he didn't want to leave the rifle in the car. So he said he was walking okay, home. I which, I mean, I yeah. understand that. So, but... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Where does he, where does he stay? Uh, you live just down here on Grove Street, right, sir? Yeah. If I'm guessing, just right up Yeah, I stay down here with my brothers in it. This is my ends. My gun ain't loaded or anything. My pistol is, but my, my rifle ain't. Okay, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take your word for it, man. Like I said, or like the uh, other officer said, we got a call for, you know, somebody walking, you know, through the gas station with the rifle in his hand, so... We figured, okay, so maybe somebody tried to rob, but you said you weren't trying to, you said you're walking home, which is fine by me. Yeah. Um, like I said, I don't think there's any issues with it. Oh! Oh. You okay, bro? <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> I don't know what that stream was for. for. I received information uh, from 100 that... It might be a misdemeanor. I'd have to have one of you guys look that up though, because I'm not too sure on that. Uh, I, I believe that it's okay to to carry it. It's not okay to openly brandish. That's what I was told. Uh, I was I just carrying wrong, it, man. So. Okay. I wasn't pointing it or anything. Well, I mean, you didn't have it sling. It's fine if you have it on you, but you're openly brandishing the weapon, meaning you have it in your hands, ready to use at all times. Let me go put this rifle But it's not loaded, bro. The only reason I don't it's carry the sling because it, it digs into my shoulder. Like the sling does, it's like well, really then what's tight. the point of carrying the rifle at all if you don't have it loaded? I've got ammo, it's just not loaded right now. Like the ammo's in my pocket. Well, I'm not saying that you were planning to use it or anything. I'm just saying openly brandishing the weapon regardless of whether or not it is loaded could possibly be a misdemeanor. Like I said, I'm not too sure on that. That's the information I received. I didn't know that. I was just, as I said, man, I was carrying it because it's easier. Yeah, no, I, we're not. We're not trying to implicate you in anything else, man. We're just trying to figure this out. Like I said, I'm not for sure on it. We're gonna have them look it up, and then once they find out whether it is or isn't, then we'll let you go or give you a ticket. That'll be it. Okay, bro. I'd rather not have the ticket. Like, if you get what I mean. Obviously, yeah, obviously <laughs> we know that. But uh, you're going to have to just let us check it out for a second. And we'll let you know either way, okay? Okay, man. I got a, I got a copy of the, uh, of the in my car. Let me just have a quick look. All right. See, I thought the brandishing meant, like, pointing it at people or whatever. I didn't think that I, I wasn't allowed to just carry it. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm not, I'm not too certain on the uh, the open brandish, open carry boss here. So yeah, it seems pretty We're vague. Looking it up in the penal code. But as I said, man, I wasn't meaning any harm or anything. I was just carrying it. <laughs> oh yeah, we understand that. <laughs> this accent, man. Why did I choose this accent of all of them? I'm not a very good gangster. I'm too, I'm, I'm too this polite. Cancer stick real quick. Oh, it stunts your growth, man. Or it's a good idea. What'd you say? It stunts your growth, but it's a good idea. <laughs> well, oh well. Hold on a sec. Oh, final word coming in. How's it going, sir? Is that alright? Uh, what? You know, um, Why do we need a tow truck? That wasn't for us. Okay. Yeah, the issue is that might have been for the other officer over off carrying, of but the bomb. carrying openly and brandishing, as you said. No, you were quite correct. Let me see if I can get his location for you. But uh, he's okay. over, I think, around. Well, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I, I, I guess technically, who was on scene first? Did he leave, or is he still here? It was um, the guy no, in this black truck. Okay, Dylan, the guy behind you. Um, Alright, well, I mean, it's technically his caller. He's uh, first on scene, so it's up to him. He can either give him a very stern warning as to not brandish the weapon again, or he can give him a ticket, or realistically, he could jail him. Yeah. Give me a second. We can touch with him and figure out what Jail me. Uh, he seemed to be pretty cooperative. Gave us his name and everything like that. He's clean. Right. Doesn't have very many uh, very many issues on his record, so. I got a few tickets. I got a heavy right foot. 
that yeah, I'd be no, honest I mean, with I you. Saw, but they weren't for anything crazy. Yeah, no felonies. No felonies, that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Look at the thing on that bin, Rockstar North. What an Easter egg, guys. What an Easter egg. <laughs> Hopefully his friends are real G. Sorry, one sec, just on the radio. Hey, so, uh, 517 here looked it up. It is technically a violation as far as the brandishing portion goes. It's not a violation to openly, like, carry a slung weapon, but carrying it in your arms, regardless of whether or not it's loaded, is technically a misdemeanor. So it's up to you whether or not you want to warn him, ticket him, or, uh, take him. If I get arrested, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill some people. Um, did we did we run his name already? Yeah, he's clean. He has uh, a couple tickets from Sahil and some other individuals. No felonies. Well, it actually like said, tells you who wrote both them. weapons he has on him are registered to him. So. Okay. Um. Be good. Be nice. I... I think what we'll probably do is, considering that he was walking home after he dropped his vehicle off at the repair shop, yes. um, I think I'm a. I think we should. I think we. I think we're gonna cut him a break, cut him a warning, uh, mm -hmm. just not do it again. Yeah, obviously, if he does it again, then we'll obviously take him in at that point. Okay. You're a so. real G, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you get that, sir? Yeah, that's, that's pretty safe of you, man. <laughs> As I said, I, I only live down by there, so I'll drop it off at my brother's. I got you, man. Are you, as long as you're not... Right afterwards? Yeah, as long as you're not... I mean, you can carry it slung on you, like I said. Carry it home. And you can even carry it slung any other time. You just cannot openly brandish the weapon. Yeah, as I said, man, I thought brandishing was like pointing it at people. It was right. just a misunderstanding. Okay. Well, <laughs> no, I, yeah, I understand. Like I said, it's just a warning, so you're free to go. Uh, like, I, like he said, if we catch you doing it again, we are going to have to take some further action, but at this time, it's just a warning, so. Okay, bro, that's fair enough. I appreciate it, yeah? Not a problem. You have a good night, alright? You too, guys. Oh, <laughs> well, you got out of that lightly. I saw that blue truck, and the way you reversed, I was like, I'm going to. I was just like, he's gonna brass, he is gonna snitch on me. <laughs> I was gonna say snitches get stitches, but he walked off. <laughs> oh, don't wanna point at stuff. So, yeah, apparently you can't carry it, you have to sling it. Didn't know that. Right, I'm gonna go down to my house down here, and uh, I thought I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna happen. I thought, fuck it, it's raining, let's run. Ooh, my G's are here. My brothers, you can see their car. And I'm home. <laughs> that was a short episode, I just wanted to see what happened, really. If they noticed me and what would happen if they did. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. Make sure you check out Matt's channel and my Discord. Links to both are in the description. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.